Hello and welcome to Anton's TV. My name is Jack Duxbury. Tay Tay's behind the camera. And this is... Paul Whittington from PWM. Hello. It's a real honour to finally meet it you. It is. First. It's great. We just we, we, we're fans. We've been fanning. Oh, no. I'm you're my fan and I'm your fan. No, so no. I like what you do. It's good. It's good. Really Thank good. you. That's very really kind. Oh, um, but as a fan, I heard that you had a new product, but I just said to you, I really know nothing about it. Yes. Other than I know it's called Mantis now. That's it. So let's just tell a bit of story. So. It's uh, the result of me working with the late, great Chris Huggett, who passed away in 2020. This is his last ever synth. And, uh, I've got to be honest, I don't yeah. know about Mr. Huggett, so, okay, what, so if people don't know about... So, so he made the Wasp and the Oscar. Right. He also did a lot of work for Novation, Base Station 2, a bunch of stuff like that. Mini Nova, Ultra Nova, Super Nova. Oh, wow. Those are a bunch of his, his synths. So this is what he wanted to put out at the time. In the last year of his life, we were working together on this. So it's oh, kind of like a Wasp. Um, and he named it Mantis. So it's like a wasp brought up to date, duophonic, so you've got two voices playing at the same time. And, um, and, and this is a dual filter, which is kind of a bit like the Oscar for people out there who know about that stuff. So you've got a dual filter as well, which is special. Makes special noises. Brilliant. Well, let's go. Can we go so through it? We step can. By step? We can. It's quite simple. So you start with um, oscillator one, oscillator two, and a sub that follows oscillator one. You've got a mixer to mix your oscillators together, add in noise and ring mod. Then you've got an LFO, two LFOs to control stuff with. <laughs> There's your filter section with lots of types. So 12 dB filters, 24 dB filters, and then the parallel and serial series, sorry, series filters there. And you've got two envelopes with Chris's special sustain fall parameter, which is quite intriguing. Um, I can't explain it. And then an arpeggiator and triggering options, then there's the geophonic section, and then digital effects on the end. So it starts life in the digital domain, it's all analogue through that, analogue through the filter, and then digital effects on the end. Wow. So that's it in Lots a nutshell. As a guy that only knows the malevolent, this seems like a <laughs> lot more on there. There is, and, yeah, it's, yeah. and it's a hybrid. So when we first formed the company, the idea was to do um, an analogue, a hybrid, and a digital. And that's where we are. We're on the roadmap at number two. This one's hybrid. That one's analog over there behind you. And the future has a digital synth in it, I think. Awesome. So, and then we've got those kind of three lines, three different teams of people working on them, and we can carry on developing more and more. And uh, we'll grab some playing examples separately, yeah. I think, because I'd love to hear yeah. you. Just, you're a great player, a killer player. Probably the one other guy that I've seen who makes synths who can shred legit. <laughs> Official <laughs> shred certificate. Um, Shreddance. If what is it like? I love the Malevolent. Yeah. Where does this sit? If you had to explain this to your wife, why did I buy this one? <laughs> why did I buy this one? Yeah. It's that great, unique sound. It's a heritage sound that links back to the synths of old that, that Chris designed, but brought into a modern environment. So it's got USB-C and it'll sit in the studio. Love you can it. patch it. So we've got 100 factory presets and 100 user presets. So this one will be easier for using in the studio. And than, to demo. Than, <laughs> and to demo than Malevolent. You can prepare stuff and then have it sound great. Uh, some trade show, I've got to forget, I'm uh, at a show. When mm. will these hit the stores? We are looking at summer, so August we would like to see them land in the UK at Anderton's. Come on. Fine music store in Portland. And hopefully you'll land at Anderton's and we'll come in and uh, get to know more about you and yeah, get okay. you playing more That'd as well. Yeah. I'd love that. Yeah, I'd love that. I'd be happy to. Thanks, Paul. Cheers. Great. Wow, wow, wow.
I've just got to explain whilst I <laughs> went off to get you a coffee, but, but I didn't realise that this was the innards. Yes. Sorry. This Can is, we this explain is, to people what they're listening to? Sure. Sorry, so, mate, that's my no, bad. Sorry. I didn't ask. This is the original development kit on which we muck about with the firmware and get it right. Mm -hmm. um, what we then do is we do a process called design for manufacture. In other words, we make the real boards that are going to go in the real thing. Right. And they have some component changes, some different things, like maybe a different DAC or something like that. So you have to get the code from there and kind of rejig it to work on there. And currently the code's somewhere about here. <laughs> so, uh, so this works a bit. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's actually pretty darn good. Um, but it's just a stage early if we want to do audio demos. That's why I'm demoing off that kit. Well, so there there's a working just, one over there. I thought we should explain with. that because yeah. I in the back to shredding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but my... Paul Hartnell wrote this sound. Oh. My stepfather has just lost his shit. He's a Hello. massive orbital fan. This is the best wiggle stick oh, good. ever made. Good.